Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to collect 336 chests in the new Chengyu area within Liyue, which was released in version 4.4. Out of these 336 chests, one was actually counted into Liyue's achievement, and two are simply not counted. So as of version 4.4, we have exactly 333 chests. But if you are watching this in a later version, check the description for potentially additional chests. Before we get started, a quick shout out to these friends and a dozen others for supporting the channel, and Genshin Fan Shop London for the supers. Greatly, greatly appreciate it. Then also make sure that you have done all the prerequisite quests listed in the description below before following this video. And with that said, let's get started. First, teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast up right on the map. Beside this dock, we can dig up a chest. Then turn around in the south direction downward on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head southwest down left on the map. Cross the river here. In the south direction, downward on the map, there's a challenge. Then head back in the north direction upward on the map. Come to the rock here and head southwest down left on the map and go up. There's a challenge here. Then turn north, upward on the map. Look down to your left. Underneath this tent, near this plant, we can dig up a chest. Then head west, left side on the map. To your right, defeat these enemies. Then grab this statue and place it on this platform in the south direction, downward on the map, near the water. Then let's teleport to this orb. Underneath there are two lotuses. Then look towards west, left side on the map. Near the waterfall, there are a few more lotuses. And we're going to light them up. So first, exit the orb. In the middle, there's a large lotus. So grab it. Enter this orb here. 
and shoot towards these lotuses to light them up. Then come back to this orb and shoot towards the other side to light up the rest. Then head north upward on the map. Look up, there's an orb here, so teleport towards it. Then look up in the west direction, left side on the map. There's another orb. Shoot towards northwest, up left on the map. Come over here and defeat the enemy. Next, teleport towards this statue and head north upward on the map. Grab this statue and then place it back to this platform. Next, we are going to need a character that can place Geo Construct. If you don't have any, you can use your Traveler. And then switch to Geo Element at this statue. Then head west, left side on the map. There is a platform here and place a geo construct on it. This marker will appear in the northwest direction up left on the map. So let's follow it. To your right, there's a challenge, so let's enter it. There are three clusters of geo particles, so let's shoot the orbs near the clusters. Then teleport towards the orbs to collect the particles. Then head south, downward on the map. Jump down here, near the platform, and we can investigate. Three bubbles will appear. We are going to break the middle one. Then three more will appear. From left to right, we are going to break the fourth one. Inside, there is a chest. Then let's break this bubble in the south direction, downward on the map. Above this rock. Inside, there is a statue. So let's grab it and come back to the platform. And place it here. Then head northwest, up left on the map. There's a challenge. Start the challenge, we will get this buff. So jump and glide towards the destination. Then enter this orb, and it will teleport us back. Then head west, left side on the map. Come near the river here. In the south direction, downward on the map. There are three lotuses.
and there, there are two more. Let's come over here and place a geo construct on this platform, and this large lotus will appear. And these three lotuses will move closer. So let's light these three up. And then swim towards west left side on the map to light up the other two. And this chest will appear. Then head west left side on the map and defeat the enemies. Next teleport to this waypoint. Head east, right side on the map. Look down here. We are going to cleanse this tree. Defeat the enemies and then press T towards the tree. Then this chest will appear. Then in the northeast direction, up right on the map, there's a spot that we can investigate. Inside there's a key. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here. Near the boxes, we can investigate. And here we will find another key. Defeat the enemies and we can unlock this chest. Next, let's teleport back to this statue. Head west, left side on the map. Come to this NPC bandit and interact with it. After that, you will get this item. Then let's teleport to this waypoint. Head north upward on the map. Jump into the water here and take a left turn. In the west direction, left side on the map. Underneath this bridge, there's a chest. Then head east, right side on the map. Come up the stairs here. Look up and use your elemental sight. You can see there's a chest on the roof. So let's climb up here and follow this path to go up. Then head south downward on the map. Jump down here, to your right, in the west direction, left side on the map, there's a chest in this corner. Then climb over this wall in the west direction, left side on the map. On this roof, there's a chest. 
then head southwest down left on the map. And follow this path. To your left, there's a cat and a bowl. And here we can feed this item that we got from the previous NPC. Then let's follow this cat. And here we can dig up a chest. Next, head east, right side on the map, and follow this path. Go into the tunnel here. This chest is given as we did the world quest. So either you have opened it or you haven't done the world quest yet. In which case, check the description below for the link. Then teleport to this waypoint. Head north upward on the map. Follow this path. Come over here and investigate. Then head northeast up right on the map. The next two chests are not counted into the achievement, and that's why the counter did not increase. Enter this building here. Enter here and take a right turn. In the south direction, downward on the map, there's a chest in this corner. Right now we have 25 counts in the achievement. After opening the chest, there are still 25. Then turn around and head north upward on the map. Here to your right, in the northeast direction, up right on the map. Behind the table, there's a chest in this corner. And there are still 25 counts in the achievement. Then let's head back and exit. Let's climb up on this building in the north direction, upward on the map. In this corner, there's a chest. Then let's head east, right side on the map. Come to the other side, and there's a ladder. So let's climb up. And climb up on this building. Go along this edge, and look down in the north direction, downward on the map. There's a chest near the wall. Then head east, right side on the map. Near the bushes, there's a sealy. So let's follow it. This building. Let's climb up here and in the northwest direction, up left on the map, there's a chest. Then let's come back and head west, left side on the map. Near the bush, we can investigate and this marker will appear. So let's follow it. Mm. 
next teleport to this waypoint. Head southeast down right on the map. Look down, there's a challenge. Then jump down here in the west direction, left side on the map. There's a chest that we got in the previous world quest. Then turn around and look up in the northeast direction, up right on the map. There's an orb. Teleport towards it and shoot towards southeast, down right on the map, towards this orb. Come to this pot here, and we are going to press T so that it lights up these two pots. Then teleport to this orb, and come to these two pots, and press T so that it lights up these two pots. Here you need to make sure that the pots align in a straight line. Then head south downward on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then teleport back to this orb in the northeast direction, up right on the map. Then look down in the east direction, right side on the map. There's a challenge. Next, teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast, up right on the map. Jump down here. Near the pond, there's a chest, which we got during the previous world quest. Then come up the stairs here in the northwest direction, up left on the map. Take a right turn and come up here. Place a geo construct on this platform. These animal slimes will appear, so defeat them. Then teleport back. Head northwest up left on the map. There's a chest, so defeat the enemies. Then head north up war on the map. Defeat the enemies. In this corner, there's a statue. Grab it and place it on this platform. Then facing northwest, up left on the map. On this table, there's another statue. So place it on this left platform. Then to the left, there's a piece laying on the ground. Grab it and come up the stairs here and place it on this right platform above. Then turn northeast, up right on the map, there's the last piece. Come up the stairs here, and turn around, to place this piece in this orientation. Then defeat the enemies. Then head north, up war on the map.
there's a challenge. Then glide east, right side on the map. Jump down here and turn around. There are two boxes, so let's break them. And this cutscene will play. Then head northwest, up left on the map. Come to this table here and interact with this teapot. After that, this orb will appear. Let's activate it. And it will teleport us to this chest. Then glide southwest down left on the map. Defeat the enemies. After that, near the chest on the ground, there's a spot that we can investigate and we will get this item. Then head south downward on the map. Here, take a right turn, there's a hole. Jump down here and insert this item into this NPC. After that, defeat the enemy. Enter this tunnel here. Near the camp, there's a chest. Then defeat the enemies. In the west direction, left side on the map, this chest will appear. Then in the west direction, there's a cage. Inside, there's a chest. Next, teleport to this waypoint. Turn around and head southeast down right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Climb back up in the southwest direction, down left on the map. Use your elemental sight, there's a rock pile. Break it, inside there's a hole. Investigate and this chest will appear. Then turn southeast, down right on the map. Look up, there's an orb. Teleport up here and turn northeast, up right on the map. Towards the top here, there are three particles. Collect them and more will appear. Collect all of them and this orb will appear. Teleport back to this orb and shoot towards this orb and activate it. It will take us to this spirit carp 
and this chest will appear. Then head southeast down right on the map. Come up here and defeat the enemy. Then head east, right side on the map. Look down here, there's a chest that we got during the previous world quest. Then continue to head east. Jump down here, there's a platform. In the north direction, upward on the map, there's a statue. Grab it and place it on the platform and three rock piles will appear. The first one in the east direction, right side on the map. The second one in the northwest direction, up left on the map. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Jump up here. There's the last one. Then head northeast, up right on the map. There's a challenge. Then teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast, up right on the map. There's a chest here, and we're going to solve a puzzle. In the northeast direction, there's a pot. Press T to grab the energy and then come to these two pots, make sure that you line up with it, and press T. Then head north, upward on the map. Come to these two pots, and face southeast, down right on the map. Line them up, and press T. These four pots are lit, and this chest is unlocked. Then head northeast, up right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head northwest, up left on the map. There's a locked chest. Turn south, downward on the map. There are two pieces. Let's first grab this statue and place it on this table. Then let's grab this piece. and place it on this platform.
then head north up or on the map. There's a challenge. Teleport towards this orb in the west direction, left side on the map. Then enter this device and shoot upwards near the rings. Then follow these rings to open the chest. Then head northwest up left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head southwest down left on the map. There's the challenge. Defeat the enemies and press T. Then continue to defeat the enemies until you can press T again. Then head west, left side on the map. Come to this sensor and investigate. This wind current will appear. Ride the wind current up. And land on this platform in the northwest direction, up left on the map. Then several more will appear. Similarly, we are going to press T and make sure this energy hit the pot along the way to light it up. So you will have to wait until the platform move to a position that they line up. Then head northeast, up right on the map. Jump down here and follow this path. Go down the stairs here and defeat the enemies. Then head northeast, up right on the map. Follow these orbs. Take left turn in the northwest direction, up left on the map. There's a chest inside this wind barrier. So shoot up and jump in from above. Then jump down here in the northeast direction, up right on the map. Enter this pavilion and several animal slimes will appear. Defeat them and this chest will appear. Then continue to head northeast up right on the map. Look down here, there's a chest near the barrel. Then head west, left side on the map. Jump down here near the waterfall. Look down, there's a large lotus. Press T and it will light up this lotus nearby. Then jump down here to light up the remaining four. Then jump down here in the southwest direction, down left on the map. Turn around, there's a tunnel in the east direction, right side on the map. Enter it and follow this path.
Here take a left turn in the north direction up or on the map. There's the chest. Then head southeast down right on the map. There's a stream. Inside there are two platforms. So place a geo construct on one of them and stand on the other one. And this chest will appear above us. Next, teleport to this waypoint. In the north direction, up war on the map. There's a pyro pillar. Light it up. Then to your left, in the northwest direction, up left on the map. There's a camp. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. In the hub, there's the second pyro pillar. Then head east, right side on the map. There's the third one under the tree. Then turn southeast down right on the map. There's a rock pile. Break it and there's the last pillar. Open the chest and this wind current will appear. Ride the wind current up. Look up in the northwest direction, up left on the map. There's an orb. Teleport towards it and come over here to this sensor. Defeat the enemies. Then come to these two pots and press T to light them up. Then do the same process for these two pots on this side. Then head northeast up right on the map. There are three rocks with squirrels on them, and we're going to stand on this one without any squirrels. Then head southwest down left on the map. Come to this edge and glide west, left side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then teleport to this waypoint. Turn northeast, up right on the map. There is an orb, so teleport towards it. And turn north, upward on the map. We are going to teleport towards there. Climb up here. And near the stairs, there's a chest. Then head northeast, up right on the map. Look up, there are orbs, so follow them. Shoot upwards and head southeast down right on the map. Enter this device and start this challenge. We are going to shoot three orbs. One to the right, one in the middle and one to the left. Then teleport to collect the particles. Then head northwest, up left on the map.
Look down here, you can see three animal slimes. There's a chest here, approach it and more slimes will appear. Defeat them and remember to defeat the three animal slimes. Then continue to head northwest. Come to this stone tablet and interact with it. Then come up here in the north direction up or on the map. We can throw some meat into the water. Then this huge turtle will appear. Let's go on the turtle and touch it. And you will start swimming. Then this chest will appear in the east direction, right side on the map. Then head northwest, up left on the map. Near this boat, we can dig up a chest. Next, teleport to this waypoint. Head west, left side on the map. Come up the stairs here. On the roof, in the west direction, left side on the map, there's a chest. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Come up the stairs here. Follow this path. Take a left turn and in the east direction, right side on the map. Near the end of this hallway, there's a chest. Then climb up here in the southeast direction, down right on the map. Near this flower, we can dig up a chest. Then glide northeast, up right on the map. Near the dock, there's a chest. Then turn around and head southeast, down right on the map. Enter here and come up the stairs. Take a left turn here. Look down in the northeast direction, up right on the map. There's a chest near the wall. Then glide east, right side on the map. Jump down here. There are also two Mora boxes. Behind them, you can investigate. And this orb will appear. Activate it and it will take us to the next chest.
Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Glide southeast down right on the map. There's a chest here. Then glide southwest down left on the map. Jump down here and take a right turn. Follow this path. At this corner, take a left turn. In the south direction, downward on the map, there's a chest in this gap. Then turn around and head northwest up left on the map. To your left, there's a spot. And we're going to do a mini challenge. Here, let's use your traveler to place a geo construct here. Climb up on this spot and a chest will appear. Open it quickly or it will disappear. Next, teleport to this waypoint. And head northeast up right on the map. Look down here in the east direction, right side on the map. You can see three dummies. In the middle, there's a red one. Break it and these enemies will appear. Defeat them and this chest will appear. Then head south, downward on the map. Take a right turn here. In this corner, there's a chest on these boxes. Then climb up on this wall in the south direction downward on the map. Look up, there's an orb. Teleport towards it. And turn north upward on the map. There's a chest here, in this tower. Then teleport back. And head south, downward on the map. There's a statue here, so let's grab it. And head southwest, down left on the map. Glide along the mountain here. Near this tree, there's a platform. So place the statue here, and these three chests will appear. Next, teleport to this waypoint. Head north, upward on the map. To your right, there's a challenge. Enter the orb here and collect the particles. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Climb up here. Look up, there's an orb, so teleport towards it. 
near this tree there's a silly. So let's follow it. Investigate these holes. If you have followed my spirit carp video, then you probably have gotten this chest already. In that case, you can skip ahead. Then turn northwest up left on the map. There is a silly on top of this tree. So climb up here. Turn east, right side on the map. Teleport to this device. And shoot up here. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Defeat the enemies. And here's the last Sealy. Then behind the chest, this orb will appear. So activate it. Come up here and defeat the animal slimes. This orb will appear in the southwest direction, now left on the map. Head towards it and activate. Defeat more animal slimes. Then in the southeast direction, now right on the map, there's another orb. So activate it. And you will also get a spirit carp. Then glide north upward on the map. Jump down here, there's a challenge. Next, teleport to this waypoint. Head northwest up left on the map. Look down here, 
there's a challenge. Shoot three orbs at these locations. And then teleport towards the right one. And follow the orbs to collect the particles. Then head south, downward on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head west, left side on the map. Look down, there's a Mora rock pile. Investigate and these animal slimes will appear. Defeat them all. And this chest will appear. Then head northwest up left on the map. Look down, near the waterfall, there's a chest. Then let's teleport back. Head southwest, down left on the map. There's a hole that we can investigate near this enemy. Then jump down here in the southwest direction, down left on the map. We're going to land on this boat. Turn around, inside there's a chest. Then let's head northwest, up left on the map. Follow this shore. Above the rock, there's a bubble, so let's break it. Then more bubbles will appear. We're going to break this one in the north direction, up war on the map, that is above the rock. Inside, there's a chest. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast, up right on the map. There's a hole here, near the animal. Keep investigating until this chest appears. Then turn around and head southwest, down left on the map. There are three sweet flowers here. Interact with them and defeat the enemies. 
then head west, left side on the map. There's a mint flower here, so interact with it and defeat these animal slimes around you. Then turn around. There's a chest here, so head north up or on the map. Come up here and interact with this NPC. And this chest will be unlocked. Then head west, left side on the map. Come up here and to your right, near the tree, defeat these animal slimes. Then in the north direction, up or on the map, there's an orb, so teleport towards it. Then turn right in the northeast direction, up right on the map. There's a chest in this tower. Then head north, up or on the map. Approach this animal pillar and activate it. And this challenge will be started. Ride the wind current up and follow this path to collect the particles. Then head southeast, down right on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemy. Then come to this pot and turn northwest up left on the map. Press T to grab the energy and light up these two pots. Then come up here in the northeast direction, up right on the map. Come behind this pot and turn around. Press T. And come behind the last pot here and press T to light it up. Then let's teleport back. Head west, left side on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. There's a hole and we can dig up a chest. Then head southwest down left on the map. Come up here and defeat the enemies. Then head southeast down right on the map. Come behind these two pots and press T. We are going to light up these two pots. Then come to the other side. We are going to light up these two pots. So line them up and press T. Then head southwest down left on the map. There's a challenge.
and head east, right side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then in the northeast direction, up right on the map. On the ground, we can investigate. And we will get this key. Then let's jump up here in the northeast direction, up right on the map, using these devices. Come all the way up here and defeat the enemies. Then turn around in the east direction, right side on the map. We can use this key to open this cage. Grab the statue inside and head southeast down right on the map. Come all the way up here and place it on this platform. Then head north up or on the map. There's a chest on this rock. Then head east right side on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head southeast down right on the map. Jump down here, there's a challenge. Follow this path to collect the particles. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head northwest, up left on the map. And investigate. Then head south, downward on the map. Come between the two pots and press T. After that, we are going to come behind this pot in order to light them up. Then turn around and teleport to this orb. In the southwest direction, down left on the map, there's a challenge. Then head northwest, up left on the map.
then head northeast up right on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head northeast up right on the map and climb up here. There's a sword, so let's interact with it. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here, there's a challenge. Head northeast and climb up here. Then head northwest up left on the map. There's a challenge. Then head east, right side on the map. There's an orb here. Collect it and more will appear. Follow this path to collect more particles. Next, let's teleport back. Head south downward on the map. There's a chest that we got previously during the world quest. Then keep heading south. Defeat the enemies. Then head southeast down right on the map. There's a large lotus here. Press T to grab it and then head north up war on the map. To light up these two small lotuses, and this chest will appear. Then head southwest, down left on the map. There's a challenge.
then look up in the southwest direction, down left on the map, teleport towards these orbs, and start this challenge. Then look up in the north direction, up war on the map, there's an orb. Follow these orbs, shoot up here in the northwest direction, up left on the map, there's a challenge. Next, let's teleport back. Head southwest, down left on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Light up these three hydro pillars. And this chest will appear. Then defeat these enemies in the southwest direction. Follow these devices and jump up in the west direction, left side on the map. Come up here and hit this large statue. Then in the southwest direction, down left on the map, defeat these enemies. And these large statues will appear. Then head southwest, down left on the map. There's a challenge. Next, teleport to this waypoint. Turn around and jump down here in the northwest direction, up left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then this large statue will appear. Head east, right side on the map, and follow this path. Defeat the enemies. Then come in front this large statue, and we're going to advance the time. Then you will automatically advance the time to the next day. After that, you will get an achievement. And after a few seconds, this chest will appear. Next, let's teleport back. Head south, downward on the map. Climb up here. There's a challenge.
and the chest is in the northeast direction up right on the map. Then follow this path in the northeast direction. Come to the edge here, there's an orb, so teleport towards it. Look up in the west direction, left side on the map. Shoot up here and climb up. There's a pot here, so press T. And head north, up war on the map. There's a second pot, so come over here and press T again. This bridge will appear. Follow it. And come to this platform. Turn around in the northeast direction, up right on the map. Press T to grab the energy to light up this pot. Then head southeast, down right on the map. Follow this bridge. Press T to light up this pot and this wind current will appear. Ride this wind current up and glide towards southeast, down right on the map. There's the last pot. Light it up and this chest will appear. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southwest, down left on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southwest, down left on the map. Hit this statue, and this arc will appear. Go through it, and take a right turn. In the north direction, upward on the map, there's the second one. Go through it and turn around. In the southeast direction, down right on the map, there's the third one. Then head south downward on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head southeast, down right on the map. There's a pot on the table here. And in the south direction, downward on the map, there's a rock. Approach it and it will disappear. There's a sword on the ground. Let's investigate and defeat the enemies. Then come back to the pot here. Let's pour tea and this chest will appear. Then head southeast, down right on the map. A 
approach these flowers and defeat the enemies. Then keep heading southeast down right on the map. There's a challenge. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint and head northeast up right on the map. Climb up here. There's a challenge. Then head northwest up left on the map. There's a large lotus here on this platform. Let's grab it and place it between these two lotuses in the west direction left side on the map. Then grab it and place it between these two lotuses in the north direction up war on the map. Once you have gathered these four lotuses, this platform will move. As you approach here, place the large lotus between these two lotuses in the east direction right side on the map quickly. And this chest will appear. Then head west, left side on the map. There's a challenge. Then head northwest up left on the map. 
there's another challenge. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Go along the water here. And take a right turn. There's a chest on this island. Then head southeast, down right on the map. Near the water, there's another challenge. Next, let's teleport back. Head southeast, down right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Follow these orbs in the south direction, downward on the map. Near this pavilion, there's a chest that we got in the previous world quest. Then turn around and head northeast, up right on the map. Look down near the waterfall, there's a chest. Then teleport back. Teleport to this orb. And turn northwest up left on the map and shoot upwards. There's a challenge here. Then head west, left side on the map. Jump down here and cleanse the tree. And this chest will appear. Then head southeast, down right on the map. Enter this device here. And we're going to shoot an orb near this lotus.
and then shoot another one near these two lotuses. To your right, shoot another one near these two lotuses. Then exit the device. Grab the large lotus in the middle. Then teleport towards these orbs to light them up. Then teleport back. Head southwest down left on the map. Look down, there's a chest that we got previously during the quest. Then head southeast down right on the map. Come down here and defeat the enemies. Then head south downward on the map. Climb up here, there's a challenge. Then head south downward on the map. Use this device to jump up. Come up here near the waterfall. There are several pots. First in the east direction, right side on the map. We are going to press T and move this platform. When it arrives here, we are going to come behind this pot and press T to light it up. Then quickly, we are going to come to this platform and press T to move it. Then when it arrives here, we're going to come behind this pot and press T to light them up. So let me demonstrate. Then in the southwest direction, down left on the map, there's an orb. Enter it and shoot east right side on the map. Then head northeast up right on the map and climb up here. Defeat the animal slimes. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head northwest up left on the map.
jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head north up war on the map. There's a challenge. Shoot three orbs and teleport towards them to collect the particles. Then enter the device again and press R to reset the orbs. Then look up and shoot one near the mountain. Teleport up here and climb up in the east direction right side on the map. There's a sword here. Interact with it and this chest will appear. Then head southwest down left on the map. Jump down here, there's a chest. Then in the north direction, up war on the map, there's a chest that we got in the previous world quest. Then keep heading north, there's a challenge. Then head southwest down left on the map. Behind this rock, there's a chest. Keep heading southwest down left on the map. Defeat the enemy. Then head north, up war on the map. Climb up here, in the northwest direction, up left on the map. There's a chest that we got in the previous world quest. Then keep heading southwest, down left on the map. Jump down here, there are two platforms. Let's place a geo construct on this one. Turn around, this barrier will disappear. Enter here and there's a chest. Nearby, let's grab this statue and exit here. Head south, downward on the map. There are two platforms here. Let's place it on the left one. Then turn around in the north direction, up or on the map. There's the second statue. Grab it and place it on the right platform. In the south direction, downward on the map, there's an orb. Teleport towards it, and in the east direction, right side on the map, there's the last statue on the bridge. Grab it and head back. Place it on this platform near the chest and this chest will be unlocked.
Then let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southwest, down left on the map. To your left, there's a large lotus. Grab it and place it here, in the middle of these three lotuses, to light them up. Then come to this side. There are two more lotuses. So come to the middle here and grab the large lotus to light these two up. Then head west, left side on the map. Follow this path and defeat the enemies. Then head northwest, up left on the map. There's a challenge. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. To your left, look up, there's an orb. Teleport towards it and shoot southeast down right on the map. Defeat the enemy. Then head north, up war on the map. Climb up here. There's a sword. Interact with it and this chest will appear. Then in the northeast direction, up right on the map, there's a challenge. Then in the north direction, up war on the map. Defeat the animal slimes. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Turn around in the east direction, right side on the map. There's a statue. Grab it and head northeast, up right on the map. Place it on this platform near the table. Then turn southeast, down right on the map. Defeat the enemy. On the ground, there's a piece. Grab it and place it on this platform. Turn around in the northwest direction, up left on the map. There's another piece. 
let's place it on the right platform. Then turn southeast down right on the map. There's the last piece. Grab it and come over here. We're going to place it on this platform from this direction. Then head northeast up right on the map and follow this path. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here. On the rock, there's a marker. Interact with it and follow the markers. Then head east, right side on the map. Defeat the enemies. And here you will enter a cutscene and receive this world crest, but we can do it later. Then head southeast down right on the map. Defeat the enemies and start this challenge. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head south downward on the map. Near the water, grab this statue and place it on this platform to your right in the west direction left side on the map. Then come to this pot here and hit it three times. Then defeat the enemies. Next, let's teleport back. Look up and teleport towards this orb. And shoot southeast down right on the map. Here, turn south, downward on the map. Near this device, there's a Sealy. Enter it and shoot an orb 
near the Sealy Hill. Then follow it. Then in the southeast direction, down right on the map, there's the second Sealy. So defeat the enemies. Then head northeast up right on the map. Defeat the enemies and follow the silly. Then head southwest down left on the map. Defeat the slime here. And this platform will move. First, we're going to press T to light this pot up. Then head northwest. We're going to press T to light this one up. Then teleport across using this orb to light the last pot up. So let me demonstrate. Then teleport back to this orb and head west left side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Head southeast down right on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then in the east direction, right side on the map. Break this rock pile and enter the tunnel here. Follow this path. And there are two geo pillars. Activate them and this chest will be unlocked. However, this chest does not count in the 4.4 achievement. Instead, it's counted towards Li Yue's achievement. And that's why the counter did not increase. Alright next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Look up to your left, teleport towards this orb. And shoot down here, near this flower, in this broken pot. And here we can dig up a chest. Then head north, upward on the map. Climb up here, 
there's a table. Turn west, left side on the map. There's a statue. Grab it and place it on this chair. And this chest will appear. Then head northeast, up right on the map, and defeat the enemies. Then teleport back. Head east, right side on the map. There's a chest in front of this tunnel. We have got this one previously during the world quest. Next, teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast, up right on the map. On this tree, there's a blue butterfly. So approach it. Then in the north direction, upward on the map, there's a green one. Then let's climb up here. There's a red one. And finally, jump down here in the east direction, right side on the map. On this branch, there's an orange one. Finally, come to this table and pour tea. And this chest will appear. Next, head east, right side on the map. Near the dock, we can feed this dog. After that, head west, left side on the map. In front of the dock, we can dig up a chest. Then head northwest, up left on the map. On this boat, there's a chest. Then teleport to this orb in the west direction, left side on the map. Keep heading west, and there's a challenge. Then head west, left side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head northwest, up left on the map, and go along this path. Come all the way here. Here we are going to light up this pot. Then swim across and light up this pot. Then let's teleport back. Head southeast, down right on the map.
jump down here and turn around. There's a chest in the northwest direction up left on the map. Then head east, right side on the map. There's a challenge. We can do this challenge three times, and each time we will be rewarded a chest. So follow the path and collect the particles. Then head southeast down right on the map. There are two lotuses there, and one lotus here. And there's one that is floating around. And we're going to shoot an orb near the chest. Then let's come over here and grab the large lotus. Place it between these two lotuses to light them up. Then come to this lotus. Press T to grab the large lotus, then quickly teleport towards this orb to light up the rest of the lotuses. Next, let's teleport back. Head south downward on the map. We're going to light up several pots here. First, come over to this pot. In the west direction, left side on the map. Press T to light these two pots up. Then teleport towards this orb. And quickly light up the last pot.
then head southwest down left on the map. Under the tree, defeat the enemies and then burn the vines. Then head north, up war on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head southwest, down left on the map. In the south direction, downward on the map. Right in front, there are two small lotuses. Come near this chest, and a bit further away, there are three more lotuses. In the southwest direction, down left on the map, there's the large lotus. Grab it, and let's first light up these two small lotuses. They will move closer to the chest. When they have stopped, let's place the large lotus here. And head south downward on the map. Approach these three lotuses. And turn around. Grab the large lotus and approach these three lotuses to light them up. Then head west, left side on the map. There's a challenge. Then head northwest, up left on the map. Under this tree, we can dig up a chest. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southwest, down left on the map. There's a challenge. Then head east, right side on the map. Enter this tower here. If there's no wind current, you can activate it using an animal character by activating this pinwheel and this wind current will appear. Ride the wind current up, there's a platform here. Then jump down here in the northeast direction, up right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then keep heading northeast, up right on the map. There are three pots here and one pot here. Let's come between these two pots and turn around. Press T to light these two up 
and then come behind this pot and press T to light the other two up. Next, head north up wall on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then head east, right side on the map. There's a challenge. Next, let's teleport back. Head northwest up left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then turn around. Inside this hub, there's another chest. So defeat the enemy. Then head north up wall on the map. Teleport towards this orb and look down. Come down here and defeat the enemies. Then in the west direction, left side on the map, teleport towards this orb. And head northwest, up left on the map. There's a marker here, so let's follow it. Then head southeast down right on the map. There's a chest here. In the southwest direction, down left on the map, there's a device. Teleport towards it. And we're going to shoot an orb near these two small lotuses. And shoot one right in front of us. And then turn left. We're heading west, left side on the map. There's a large lotus in front of the waterfall. Let's grab this large lotus and then quickly light up the other ones by teleporting towards the orbs. Alright, next let's teleport to this waypoint. Teleport towards this orb in the west direction, left side on the map. Look up, there's a chest on top of the roof. Then jump down here and turn around. Open up this door. If it is your first time entering here, you will get a world quest. 
Wangshan Walk to remember. If you haven't done it yet, check the description below for the link. Then enter here. Glide northwest up left on the map. Use your elemental sight, you will see several dummies. Let's break them all. There's a last one, so come over here and to your right, it's behind this wall. Then head east, right side on the map. Open up this gate. Or if you have completed this world quest, then this passage should be open. Follow this path. Come to the middle here and turn around. In the northeast direction, up right on the map, break the spider web. There's a chest inside. Then turn around and head south, downward on the map. Take left turn and follow this path. If it's filled with water, then solve the puzzle first, following the video in the description. Then keep following this path. On the way, you will also get to unlock this hidden waypoint. There's a chest that we have got previously during this world quest. Then head south downward on the map. Climb up here and take a left turn. In the east direction, right side on the map, there's one behind the wall. Then head northwest, up left on the map. Break this rock and you will get a glitter. Head south, downward on the map. and place it inside this lamp. Then in the northwest direction, up left on the map, there's the second one. Place it on the other lamp and this gate will open. Then right in front, let's interact with this platform and choose the first option. Then let's come back to the middle here and interact with this platform and choose the first option. Defeat the enemies and this chest will appear. Then head northeast up right on the map. Come up the stairs here and follow this path. There's another gate which we can open directly. Enter here and follow this path. Inside this room there are three Mora rock piles, so remember to take them. And in the middle, interact with this platform and choose the first option. Defeat the enemies. Then go back to the large platform in the middle. Interact with it and choose the first option.
Complete the challenge and this chest will appear. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head southeast down right on the map. There's a challenge. Beside, there's the next challenge. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Look down here. There's the next challenge. Then head west, left side on the map. On this bridge, there's the next chest. Then jump down here in the south direction, downward on the map. Break this vase on this platform and turn west, left side on the map. We are going to break this vase near the water and this statue will appear. Place it on this platform and this chest will appear. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Turn around and look up in the southeast direction, down right on the map. Teleport towards this orb. Follow these orbs and come up here.
grab this statue in the south direction downward on the map and place it on this platform in the west direction left side on the map. Then grab this statue in the west direction and place it on this platform in the east direction right side on the map. Then beside there's the last statue so place it on the last platform. Then head south downward on the map. Jump all the way down here. Come near the water. Near the chest, there's a particle. So collect it and more will appear. Collect all of them and this chest will be unlocked. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint underground. Turn around and head north upward on the map. And on the way, remember to take these Mora boxes. Then keep heading west, left side on the map. Go around the rock here. In this cave, there's a chest. Defeat the enemy. Then let's teleport back. Head southeast, down right on the map. Go along this edge. In the south direction, downward on the map, there's a chest. Then head east, right side on the map. Jump down here, to your right, there's a cave. Jump down here and follow this path in the south direction, downward on the map. Here's the chest that we got previously during the world quest. Then look up in the northeast direction, up right on the map. Follow these orbs. And shoot towards north upward on the map. Here take a right turn and head northeast up right on the map and follow this path. Here's another chest that we got previously when we did this world quest. Then head northwest up left on the map. On this platform, there's another chest that we got during the world quest. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head north upward on the map. There's a chest, so glide towards it. Jump down here. 
and near this wooden box, we can investigate. And we will get a salt. Then let's place it on the pot here in the middle. And investigate. After that, defeat the enemies. Then head west, left side on the map. Come down here and offer incense. This orb will appear, so activate. Then turn around and head southwest down left on the map. There's the challenge. Then right in front, there's a barrier. If you have followed my Spirit Carp video, then you may have unlocked it already. But if not, keep watching and I'll show you how to unlock it in a moment. For now, let's head east, right side on the map. Jump down here. And to your right, in the south direction, downward on the map. Enter this tunnel and follow the path. In the water, we can investigate and this orb will appear. Activate it and this barrier will be unlocked. In the east direction, let's grab this statue and place it on this platform. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Teleport towards this orb in the east direction right side on the map and head northeast up right on the map. There's a chest that we got previously during the world quest. Then head north up war on the map. Teleport towards this challenge. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head south downward on the map. Defeat the enemies. 
underneath here, we can grab this piece and place it on this platform in the west direction, left side on the map. Then in the northwest direction, up left on the map, there's another piece. We're going to place it on this platform, but from this direction. Then this orb will appear. Activate it. Then teleport towards these orbs. And here's the chest. Then behind the chest, there's a spot that we can investigate. Simply activate it and it will take us to the previous barrier. So if you have already unlocked it and collected that chest, you can skip ahead in the video. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Turn around and head southwest, down left on the map. There's the chest. Defeat the enemies. Then head west, left side on the map. We can investigate. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head north, upward on the map. Jump down here. There's a chest that we got previously as we did the world quest. Then head southeast, down right on the map. There's a large lotus here. Come to these three small lotuses and press T to grab the large lotus. Then place it nearby. And head southwest down left on the map. Turn around and grab the large lotus to light these two up. And this chest will be unlocked. Then keep heading southeast, down right on the map. Follow this path, there's a tunnel. Enter here and defeat the enemies. Then keep following this tunnel. There's a chest here that we got previously during the world quest. Then head south downward on the map. Follow this path.
go around the rock here in the east direction, right side on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then keep heading east and follow this path. Follow these orbs and shoot northeast up right on the map. There's a challenge. Next, let's teleport to this statue. Head south downward on the map. There's a particle above this challenge. Collect it and more will appear. Collect all of them and this challenge will be available. Then head northwest up left on the map. Down there we are going to cleanse this tree. Then head northwest up left on the map. There are three hydro pillars here. And in the middle, there's a spot that we can investigate. This hydro ember will appear. Break it and these three pillars will be lit. Then in the northwest direction up left on the map, there's the last pillar. Then let's teleport back and head north up all on the map. There's a spot here on the ground that we can investigate. And you will get this cup. Then head south downward on the map. Come to this table here and place the cup. Then head northwest up left on the map. We're going to do this challenge.
then head north up war on the map, slightly towards west. Jump down here and defeat the enemy under this tree. Then let's teleport back again. Head northeast up right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then turn around and look up. In the south direction, downward on the map, there's an orb. Teleport towards it and shoot east, right side on the map. Come up here, there's a challenge. Then head north, up war on the map. Near the rock, we can investigate. And this chest will appear. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then head east, right side on the map. Follow this path. Jump down here. And turn around. In the west direction, left side on the map, there's a tunnel. Enter here and defeat the enemy. Then let's teleport back to this statue. Head southeast, down right on the map. There's a challenge. Then head south, downward on the map. Defeat the enemies here. Come to the edge here and look down. There's a challenge near the stairs. Then turn around in the northeast direction, up right on the map. There's a piece, so let's grab it. Exit here and come up the stairs. We're going to place it on this platform near the stairs. Then head north, up war on the map. 
come to this enemy and interact with it. Defeat it, and this gate will open. Inside, there's a piece, so let's grab it. And also open this chest. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Come up the stairs here and place it on this platform. Then head northeast, up right on the map. There's the last piece. Grab it and head southwest, down left on the map. Come up here and place it on this platform. After that, we can investigate this sensor. And this chest will be unlocked. Then look up in the northwest direction, up left on the map. There's an orb. Teleport up here and shoot towards south downward on the map. There's a pot. Here let's place a flower and this chest will appear. Then head southwest down left on the map. Jump down here, there's a Sealy. Defeat the enemy. Then head east, right side on the map. There's a Sealy inside this wind barrier. So let's follow it. Then glide across towards south downward on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then follow this silly. Then jump onto this platform in the north direction, upward on the map. There's an orb here, so activate it. Then head south, downward on the map. Jump down here and investigate. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. 
continue to head southwest down left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Alright, next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head east, right side on the map. Press T and light up these two pots. In here, this chest will be unlocked. Here, you will get this key. Then, let's teleport back. Look up in the southeast direction, down right on the map. There's an orb, so teleport towards it. Look down, there's a challenge. Then teleport back again. Turn around and head south, downward on the map. Follow this path and cleanse the tree. Then head southwest, down left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then activate this balloon and follow it. On the way, defeat the enemies. Finally, defeat the enemies and you will get three chests. Then head northeast, up right on the map. Climb up here. Climb inside this tower through this window. We can open up this gate using the key that we got previously. Inside here, there are three chests. Then exit here and take a right turn in the northwest direction up left on the map. There's a Sealy, so let's follow it.
then head west, left side on the map. Climb up here. There's a Sealy near this window. Come up the stairs here, there's a switch. Start it and the countdown will begin. After that, this chest will be unlocked. Then continue to follow this silly. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Turn around and head southeast, down right on the map. Glide towards this tower. Enter through this window. And in this corner, there's the Sealy. So let's follow it. On the way, it will unlock this chest for us. After gathering these three sealies, this chest will be unlocked. Then head southeast, down right on the map. There's a challenge here. Then head northwest, up left on the map. Follow this path. Defeat the enemies. Grab this piece and place it on this platform. After that, this gate will open. Inside, there's another piece, so let's grab it and turn around. Head east, right side on the map. We are going to place it on this platform. After that, let's grab the first piece that's on this platform. And then come up the stairs here and place it on this platform. and that will unlock this gate. Inside here, there's a rock pile, so let's break it. Inside, there's a chest. And there's also a piece. So let's grab it and head northwest up left on the map. We're going to place it on this platform and we need to place it from this direction. Then let's grab this piece 
and turn around. Place it on this platform near the stairs. Finally, grab the last piece and come up the stairs here. And place it on the last platform. After that, investigate the sensor. And this chest is unlocked. Then head southwest down left on the map. Enter this challenge. Shoot an orb here. And another one here. Then teleport towards them to collect the particles. Then head south, downward on the map. Look down, there are several jewel pillars here. And we need to only activate the ones that are inside this yellow flower field. So activate only these three and this chest will be unlocked. Next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast up right on the map. Inside this tower, there's a fragment, so let's pick it up. Then let's teleport to this waypoint underground. Turn around and head northwest up left on the map. Near the rock, there's another fragment, so let's pick it up. Then teleport to this statue. Head southeast, down right on the map. We are going to light up four torches here. The first one in the northeast direction, up right on the map. The second one in the north direction, up war on the map. The third one in the west direction, left side on the map. And the last one in the south direction, downward on the map. Then head northeast up right on the map. Come up the stairs here and climb up in the north direction up war on the map. Then look up in the west direction, teleport towards this orb. And shoot east right side on the map. Land on this box, in the east direction, right side on the map, there's a pot. To your left, there's a platform. We're going to activate it. And when it arrives in front of us, we're going to press T to grab the energy. So that it lights up the pot. So let me demonstrate.
then head southeast down right on the map. Jump down here and defeat the enemies. Then in the north direction, up war on the map. Open up this cage, there's a Sealy. So let's follow it. Then go around the wall here and head south downward on the map. Come to this edge and take a left turn. There's the second silly near the tree. So let's follow it. Then head west, left side on the map. Come to this sensor here. And submit these two items that we got previously as we investigated the two sensors. And this gate in the north direction will open up. Enter here, there are three chests. But first, we need to defeat this enemy. Then come up here. In the north direction, upward on the map. Interact with this orb and submit the two fragments that we got previously. Then turn towards it and press T. And we will be teleported here. Head straight. Facing towards this wall and press T. And this chest will appear. Then this orb will appear. Activate it and it will bring us out of the cave. Then head southeast down right on the map. There's a challenge. Then head northeast up right on the map. Defeat the enemies. Head northwest up left on the map. Come up the stairs here. Let's grab this piece near the wall. In the east direction, right side on the map. And place it on this platform, beside this wall.
then grab another piece in the north direction upward on the map. And place it on this platform, but from this direction. After that, jump down here in the south direction downward on the map. On the rock, there's a statue, so let's grab it. And come back up. Place it on this platform. Then enemies will appear. Defeat them and this chest will be unlocked. Alright next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head northeast up right on the map. We are going to light up these three pots. Then continue to head northeast. Look down here, there's a challenge. Alright next, let's teleport to this waypoint. Head south downward on the map. Here take a right turn in the west direction, left side on the map. There's a Sealy. Then follow this path and head inside this tunnel. And we will receive a world quest. Near the statue, there's a butterfly. So approach it and this chest will appear. Then this chest will appear. We're going to find five more butterflies. So head southwest, down left on the map. Defeat the enemies. Then jump down here in the southeast direction, down right on the map. In the east direction, right side on the map. Grab this pot and place it on this rock. This barrier will disappear. Inside, there's another pot. So grab it and place it on this rock in the east direction, right side on the map. Then grab the previous pot and place it on this platform. This barrier will disappear. Inside, there's the first butterfly.
then head west left side on the map. Follow this path. Here there's a mini challenge and we're going to find four butterflies. In the northwest direction, up left on the map, there are two, one on the rock and one near the pot. And in the north direction, up wall on the map, use an animal character to activate this pinwheel. Ride the wind current up, there's the third one on this rock. Then head south, downward on the map. There's the last one near these two pots. Then continue to head west, left side on the map. Follow this path. Look down here, land near these three butterflies, and we can dig up a chest. Then look up in the north direction, upward on the map, there's an orb. Teleport towards it, and shoot towards this cave. Break the spider web and enter here. Blow up the barrels here and defeat the enemies. This butterfly will appear, so let's follow it. Then jump down here in the south direction, downward on the map. In the west direction, left side on the map, grab this statue and place it on this platform. After that, let's climb up on this rock in the northeast direction, up right on the map. And this butterfly will appear. East, up right on the map. There's a challenge. And behind the chest, there's the last butterfly. Then exit here, and take a left turn. In the north direction, up wall on the map, there's a rock pile. Break it, and defeat the enemy. Then exit here and head east, right side on the map. Go through the dialogue, then in the west direction, left side on the map, teleport towards this orb, and shoot southwest, down left on the map, in this direction. 
and glide around. Inside here, there's a chest. Then head towards this tree. Climb up here and we can investigate. And this chest will appear in the east direction, right side on the map. Behind it, there are three butterflies. Investigate and we will be teleported here. Let's place the branch here on this pot. And head northeast upright on the map. Inside here, there's a chest. Then to your left, in the west direction, left side on the map. Behind this rock, there's the last chest. Finally, to complete the quest, simply interact with this text. And this world quest is finished. Now let's open up our achievement. You should have 20 counts for the CLE, 333 for the chest, and 63 for the challenge. If you have followed this video this far and didn't miss any chest along the way. And as always, these are the chests that were released in version 4.4. And there may be additional chests that are being added in the future updates. So be sure to check the description below for additional chests. Alright, and with that said, remember to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you in the next one.